time to check out Birdie Nest. Which it has us balance a pelican on a force field stick, as someone pointed out. Really weird concept this. And it's dropping golden eggs and turds. They look like dog turds, but oh well. It's a big bird, so uh, who knows. You just have to catch the eggs while keeping the bird balanced and avoiding its uh, many turds, of course. At least they are not golden turds. It's a concept that I don't really know exists in any game. It's kind of a mix of where uh, you have to balance like uh, one of those plates, you know, on a stick. Wow, and the hit detection is a bit weird. Seems you have to catch things with your uh, wrist instead of your fingers. But oh well. It also is this way for the third, so that's uh, evenly divided, I guess. And some guys named uh, Kaboom for the uh, Atari 2600, and you know, it kind of has something in that uh, in that regard. And again, it went right through the hand. So you really need to have to have the hitbox a bit to the to the right on the uh, wrist, not on the fingers. He's already busy holding that uh, force field up, I guess. So it's uh, well, apart from that hit detection being a bit weird. It, I mean, the game works, and it's kind of original, I guess. And we win. That was fast. Now there is no level indicator on the screen anywhere, so this might actually be level one all over again. I don't know. We've already seen pretty much all of the game then, since uh, it's pretty basic. Kind of original concept I guess, and it works, but let's just get rid of the pelican. Or not. No, we're not done with you yet, man. I'm gonna play a bit with you. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Yeah, no, shit. Now we got shit all over our hands. Now I'm done. Get lost. Next game. Which is Bingo Zap. So do you have any idea what this is all about? Well then let me know. Or name that ripoff. And don't think too hard since this game is really ridiculously basic. See you guys.